Modality! Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel dedicated to everything smartwatches. So why are we talking about modality? Because it's a keyboard. It's a keyboard that can work on phones and watches. Round ones, square ones, we're going to check it out and see how it goes. The modality app is available in the uh, Google Play Store and in the Apple App Store. You simply go in and download it. Modality Keyboard 2.0 is the new version. And when you have it installed, you've got to activate it. What we're going to do today is play with it on this Android phone, a OnePlus 6T, by the way. Cool little phone. We're going to show you how it works and how you can figure it out. Then I'm going to show you the same keyboard implemented on the Square Lympho LEM4 and the Round Lympho LEM X. Right? Let's go. We've got it installed, but we need to activate it. So we turn it on, we get into it. Step one means you have to identify it to the phone or watch as an active keyboard. When you do that, you get this little attention thing for any keyboard you put in, talking about the collecting of data, which, of course, it has to do because it's got to read your keys, but the company doesn't collect any data. You say OK. Tells you a little thing about rebooting. you got to unlock the, the phone to get into it, blah, 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 all related to the version of Android, I believe. Once you've got it activated, now you go back and you do step two. In step two, you make it the default keyboard. There it is, selected. So now, modality is active as the keyboard of choice on this phone. I've already done that on both of these, so I don't have to go through that with you. Let's switch back over here to the Google Play Store because it has a search field up here, which is a data input area, right? And when you touch here, you normally get the keyboard. And here it is, search fields up there, keyboards down here. That is the new keyboard. Whoa, don't get scared. It's really cool, it's really fun. It's really actually pretty easy. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's a fun little brain game because you play with the letters of the English language. Let me break it down for you. You see there's four basic keys. All 26 letters are here. They're broken up because of shape. That's right. Letters are either straight lines or curves or round circles and all screwy little wiggly things, right? Like an S. Let's start with the squares or the, the straight lines. Anytime you have a straight line that is either vertical or horizontal or both, but nothing else, it's going to fit on this little green key. You see, there's only six of them. If you have straight lines and they have slants in them, like the letter A or K or M and N, or any of these other little ones down below, you have the red key. So an A has angles and the I and L have all straight lines. Okay? No curves anywhere. Then you got the other two keys. If it's pure curves, like a C, an O, a Q, things like that, pure curves, then it's on the blue key. And if it's a mix of straight lines and curves, as all of these are, it'll be on the yellow key. So you make up a word by just simply thinking about its shape. Let's spell out smartwatch ticks. And I'll show you a little bit more about the keyboard and how it works. S. S is a curvy letter. There it is. You tap there. M has slants in it. A. Now, it's, it's not filling in up here. But you see there's words that are starting to show up here. We did S-M-A-R. R is one of those combination letters, right? T, smart. And look, it shows up here as a word. I tap it, and it puts it up here in the field and gave me a space. Now watch. Ah, but I don't want to start with just the W. I want it to be capitalized. So I can capitalize it with this little arrow key here. Hit the capital, and it's going to be set for capitals. W, what kind is that? It's, a, it's got slants in it, right? W, A, T is straight lines. C is all curvy. H, smart watch. There it is. Uh-huh. Smart watch. And now ticks. T is like that. 
I is straight also. Now it's I or I with the lines across, but they did that so you could tell what it is. T I C K K. Uh huh. You're getting it. S T I C K S. Ticks. But wait, it's not capitalized. I can do the capital either before or after. There it is. Tab it. Smart watch ticks. And it put it in there. So all of your typing is easily done on four keys. That's the basic, basic everything about this. It gets much more technical. There's a great tutorial on how to use it. Your punctuation is kind of dim, but it's on the side. Exclamation, question, period, comma. You got at sign. Oh, and when you tap the one, two, three, you can get into your number keys and your symbol keys, and you can tap ABC and come right back over here again. It's a slick little keyboard. For further um, tutorial, I'll direct you over to their website. Check the show notes down below, and you can practice with it. So this is what it looks like on a phone. What about a watch? Well, let's go in here. I can... Tap my little uh, floating toucher app. I can go into all of my apps and I can come down here to the Play Store. L M N O P Play Store. There we go. Okay, Google Play Store. Tap in the field. There's the keyboard again. See it? Now, what do we want to say? How about happy birthday? H. Straight lines, right? H A. Where would P be? Uh-huh. P. P. Y is what kind of letter? Uh-huh. It's got curves or straight lines, but things in it, right? And can you see really tiny there? Happy birthday. B. I. R. T. H. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. D. A. Oh, it's already got half birthday on there. So I don't actually need to finish the Y. I can capitalize it, right? Hello. Well, maybe I have to finish the Y. Okay. Y, capitalize it. Did that capitalize it? No, it didn't. Darn. Okay. Well, I'm still learning it somewhat too, and it's kind of washed out on the screen, but it says happy birthday in there, and it was done with those four keys and of course, I could put an exclamation mark after it, and it, it put the exclamation there. Perhaps if I dim it down a little bit. There, now you can see it. I know, what in the world am I doing with these keys over here? What's the dot? What's the slide thing? Floating toucher, display brightness. They're special apps. Look in the show notes for links that you can go and find them because they're not in the Google Play Store anymore. There's the um, Modality Keyboard 2.0 on a Lympho LEM4, way easier to use once you learn the quick way of spelling on a, on a really nice Android watch. Well, what about round? Let's go to the LEMX. Same thing, floating toucher. I'm just gonna get in here so I can get to the Google Play Store. And we go into all of the apps to the Play Store. And here we go. And there's the keyboard coming up. Same kind of look and feel with a little bit different. Notice that we are losing the edges. And they know this is an issue. There's a rework of this for the Android uh, Wear uh, watches or Wear OS. And they're contemplating setting this up for the Android watches in a similar kind of way where you have easier access to the corners. But good news for those of you who bought the LEMX with the flat tire. Because of the flat tire, folks, I've been looking everywhere for something positive about that silly flat tire. Here it is. Because of the flat tire, the keyboard is elevated a little bit, and you have access to the very edge of the button here that lets you switch to that one, two, three uh, data entry information uh, capability that you see on here and on here that you can press right away, right there. You can actually get to it on the round one if you press just right in the corner. There you go. And press again, you can get back out of it to the main keyboard. It's a trick. <laughs> there, no, that gave me to the, there we go. All right, I'm still working on it. Oh, notice I accidentally put some stuff in. I've got a single key back key here 
and I've got a global one that'll take you one word at a time away. But we're right back at the keyboard, and I can put in whatever word I want, like elephant, E-L-E-P-H-A, where's N? N, N is, that? there it is, N, T, right, elephant. And when you're happy with it, you press it right there. You can kind of see it here. As you know, we can press and hold and make it a square in a circle. And there it is. But watch, the keyboard still fits in the full screen so you have access to all of the punctuation and everything else as well. And of course, you can still see it. Now you can see everything because it's in the square. Really nice implementation of the way the keyboard works. Will this work on other round Android smartwatches? No, not in the current configuration. However, when they redesign it and work it so that it is available in an Android format to play on an Android watch, and they basically move these things that you need in the corners in a little bit and take some of these options out here, um, you'll be able to really use it on an Android watch that's round. But for now, on the LEMX or the Lympho LEM4 Pro, or even a 4 basic, um, you could definitely use it on the watch format and you can download it on your phone and try uh, to learn it. It's really worth learning because honestly, a wave of the future is going to be to get away from the QWERTY keyboard and into something that's uh, simpler. And of all the ones we've seen and tried, this one makes the most sense to me because it breaks all of the letters up into shape. And you have to think about it at first, but after you get the wave for it, you'll automatically know which shape your letters are. And you'll be typing away practically as fast as you do with your regular QWERTY keyboard, but you're not going to be missing the keys because they're so darn tiny on the watches. Cool, huh? All right. It is called the Modality Keyboard 2.0 in the Google Play Store. Check it out. It's really fun. And try it out on one of your watches. And if you haven't bought one yet and you're thinking about a good watch to get, these are two of my daily drives. Uh, they don't have the watch bands on now because they're removable and they're waterproof. And they're good size. And you can use this keyboard on either one of them. I'll have links for these as well. The Lympho LEMX, the Lympho LEM4 Pro, the Modality Keyboard 2. And we're out of here. Thanks for watching.